Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this brand new tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at uh, creating the cell shaded effect that you find in a game like Borderlands. So let's jump straight in. Um, this can be applied to any object. It could be an asset for an environment. It could be a character. It could be a vehicle. It could be anything. So the first step uh, is to make sure we've got our object selected. Now mine has a specular map and a bump map so you can use an object that has advanced uh, materials on it already. It doesn't have to be just the bog standard diffuse. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this. Now before I make a copy of this existing object I always make sure that I name the object uh, really clearly. So that's called book because it is a book. So I'm going to then hit control V to make a, a copy. So it's going to give me the clone options and you want to make sure that you highlight copy. This object is going to be called outline because of course this object is going to be for creating the outline and I'm going to be pressing OK. So now I've got two uh, objects which look identical because they are copies after all. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going onto the push modifier in my modifier list. So the push modifier what it does is it basically pushes all the polygons out dependent on the angle that they're facing. So I'm going to go on the push modifier and as you can see I'm just going to increase that a little bit. I can always come back and adjust this later but right now I'm just going to push it out. Don't go too far because then weird things will start to happen. If I show you the edges um, with it selected Let's get the right object selected, the outline. And if I go on the push, you can kind of see how it starts to cut through each other and it starts getting a little bit ugly. So I'm going to go just a slight amount bigger, something like that is going to be okay for now. Now right now, obviously, we can still only see the book. We don't want to be doing that. Um, and, <laughs> well, basically what we need to do is we need to go ahead and actually apply a black material to this object. So we're going to hit the M key, go to the material editor, and we're going to go ahead and change the diffuse all the way up to a pitch black. Okay, we're going to apply this, uh, assign the material to selection. Now, so far as you can see, we've got the black texture on there. We can't actually see the book on the inside though. So what we need to do is we need to flip the polygon. So I'm going to show you how we can do this. We need to go back onto edit poly. So it's going to take away the effect of the push for now, but don't worry about that. If we go on to element and we select the object, so every single poly is selected. Again, if you have an object with lots of different parts, then you want to make sure you highlight every single one of those. Okay. And then you're going to go and hit flip. So what that's going to do is going to flip the polygons inside out. Now if I go on to push, let's have a look if that's actually... Okay, well what... Because we flipped the polys, it's basically moving the push in the opposite direction. So what we need to do is actually drag the push down a little bit. So we're going to be reducing the push so that it comes into the minus value. But as you can see, if I was to just hit F4 to get rid of my edges, if I just do that, Again, if you go too far, it can look really, really weird. So you want to go just a decent enough amount that you can see those black edges. Now, that's pretty fine for me. And as you can see, as I rotate around the object, it's going to basically show the edges all the time. It's not going to be disappearing from any from the outside edge. It's always going to be around the object. Okay, now this is obviously only one way to do it. There are loads of different ways to do it. But for me, this is the quickest way uh, to create the effect. Please bear in mind though that it actually does, uh, you know, close to double the um, poly count of the objects because you're actually making a copy of it and then flipping it inside out and giving it a simpler texture, of course, um, to give this black outline effect. Now, if you've followed these steps and it's still only showing a pure black um, object, then what you need to do is you need to right click on the outline object. You need to go into object properties and you need to enable backface cull. Okay, so once you enable backface cull, it should give you this effect. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, and please don't hesitate to ask. Um, and again, you know, please do hit the like button if you uh, enjoyed what I've done here and if you appreciate. Uh, this tutorial and my efforts in making it as simple as possible. Uh, also subscribe because I'm going to have loads more videos coming out soon guys so stay tuned for that. And on that note guys I will catch you all next time.